Today I'm going to be teaching you how to sculpt the male torso. I'm going to be trying to give you as much advice on all the anatomy and how everything actually works to give you the clear understanding of what actually goes on there. So feel free to follow along and yeah, let's get into it. So first off, what am I going to do? I'm going to go add in a UV sphere. Okay. And then let's just start breaking down some of the shapes. Let's just go start lengthening this out. So it's there, drag it down. It's going to be, this is going to be something that's going to be like a rib cage. Okay. So there, you're going to take that and then also widen it up at the top because we're going to turn that into the shoulders. You remesh it quickly and I'm also going to take it further down because then it's going to be for like the upper body. We're going to need something for the lower body, obviously. So there, maybe it's too long because like we'll have pelvis here okay you can make proportions as we go and add some more details okay and then we're going to flatten this out a bit uh well, not flatten but round it out and then pull like that up back okay so we're going to have like the the rib cage be like that okay this is going to be like the halfway point there you can carve this in because that's going to be the shoulders on top because the rib cage is kind of like roundish um so we actually need to pull that in like that okay and then i'm just going to pull these down for the shoulders and then there we're going to bring that down slightly because we're going to start adding all the muscle and stuff on top of that okay let me just quickly add in the collarbone just something quickly there okay and then let's add in a neck because that's also pretty important so drag that in okay and that can work for something just to stand in and we can sculpt that all in so yeah let's start sculpting in the chest here so the chest kind of that like goes around there it connects up to the the like the the collarbone and then up to this, that goes underneath, it like tucks in underneath the shoulder, like that, okay? So round it out a bit. And then over down here, it'll be quite muscular, all built up. Maybe add a little bit more resolution, I'll give a decent base and add some more details. So collarbone. This would be usually like quite built. So there, kind of like pops up there, goes along. Kind of have like a dip, because like the chest goes there and then pulls up. So it like tucks underneath the, the shoulder and the shoulder's there. So you have like this big dip there. Okay. And you have the traps. Shoulders go back quite a bit as well. Kind of further back. Uh, these are sort of attached to the back of well, to the back where it connects to the scapula and then the shoulder the shoulder blade kind of like curls in so it's it hasn't been heard as but it's like shoulder it's like a panel bar the back from the top you see so like there you can see kind of the, the handlebar look and then to give it that really like male look you kind of have to make him wider so give him the the lats coming in from the back so you round it there and then the lats which actually like tie in underneath his arms so like halfway through like that depending on how big you make them kind of gives him his like muscular uh v taper look i'm just creased down the middle for the like abs that we add in later and then you can kind of see so how it usually works with the like the body is you kind of have the like so you have this the yeah the rib cage and that kind of comes it's slightly it ends like slightly below the chest so you're gonna have it there and then it comes down and then there and it'll kind of like have a crease so it will have like a it goes in and then after that you'll have go here you'll kind of have like a little it's a muscle like fat pad and also the pelvis so like the pelvis and then your muscle over it. So depending on how ripped he is, it'll kind of be built on that. So it kind of goes there and it like brings up. So you, you'll have the separation between 
the rib cage and the muscle pelvis. So it kind of the pelvis is here, and then the muscle goes on top of it, and that's just the gap between the two. Okay, like that. And then I think the chest would kind of go further, like have a further there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then the abs would also be just like fitted on top of all of this. So having the rib cage in there first is quite helpful. So it still like maintains the same shape because the the rib cage is obviously going to affect how the the abs get sit, like how the abs sit on the body. Um, okay. Uh, so there, let's add in something quick and simple. Um, and then they all kind of like just like go together. Just looking at reference on our second monitor. Okay, PRF is not liking me right now. There we go. Okay. So you're gonna have it kind of have your your so rib cage be like that. Then have like a it kind of curls curves in over there. So you have there. I'm also looking at like Greek god like sculpts. It's like they just look nice. But there, make sure you have reference. It's always good to have reference on a second monitor or even on your main monitor. Up to you. But yeah, so it kind of like curls around there. And then the first like set of abs would be like, they're kind of very small, depending on like what like character you have or like the genetics of the person. Um, but they kind of sit there. They're kind of like very small at the top. Um, not very defined, but also copy the shape of the rib cage quite a bit then the next ones are a bit more detailed and then they all kind of they kind of like pull in like that um and then also have like muscles that pull this way that kind of has this like direction so you kind of have like muscle going like that and then they all kind of like go there so it also pops in here so like this muscle there so they all kind of go around like that um, and then they connect into the abs like downwards so when you have the abs going like this so you have the um you have the rib cage like this and you have the abs and then they kind of like go attach in so it'll be less visible at the top but then for the next ones when they go like here it'll kind of have a separation between these two and then you can kind of see like the muscles like pulling it um, okay, and then the bottom one will kind of just this goes down like that. So depending on like what character you have, you can have like a six pack. So technically, it's an eight pack. You have like this muscle down here, which is technically the um, that's technically like the, the eighth because you have these two up here as well. Depending on how well defined you have them. Uh, but you can see there, this is kind of the shape that we want to go for. And then, as I said, so you have like there, depending on how muscular he is, you'll have the the lats kind of this direction. Um, yeah. And then kind of after this thing, so you can have like a sharp there. And then it kind of goes down. And then let's just go side view for now. Bring this in. We'll add his glutes later. Uh, just get a rough shape for it for now, just so we kind of see the proportions of everything. Uh, I want to bring the chest a bit down. And then with the shoulders, we'll actually carve this in. Okay. Um, there. And then let's go back to the abs. So here kind of have there, so there, these kind of go in, and then all the muscles like going down here, they join into the abs, so depending on how muscular, it depends on how like round the abs are, they could be like very flat if he's not very developed uh, body, but they could also be very round if he trains abs a lot, but there. Remember, this has to go on top of the stomach, so you still have to round it out quite a bit. Uh, and then, as I was kind of saying earlier, these kind of do like filter in like that. 
And again, they just have to follow the shape of the ribcage. So you can also work with that too. This might be too long at the body. Uh, there. Okay, so there, and then kind of have the bottom one. So that kind of shape there, can I have it squarish? And then this is where you would have the belly button. And then with all the muscles, you'd kind of have it more like have a kind of like this kind of like inward flow kind of thing. Um, so you'd have it like this, you'd kind of there. Um, and then have it all kind of like pull downwards, kind of just keep a flow of the character. Um, so let's get these muscles in here. These are like serratus muscles or whatever they're called. They kind of go like underneath the lats, so like pull the shoulder forward. I think that's also too long, so let me pull it up. So depending on like the genetics of the guy, you can have like a very big chest, very short abs, or you could have the opposite way. Um, but I, in my opinion, you don't make it too long. Um, I'm just going to pull this up. I'm just going to make this one a bit bigger, this muscle over here. This goes around, doesn't just sit there. And it does have a very like round bottom, so it kind of tucks it in. Yeah, like that. So there, so we have this ab muscle. And this one. And here. They go just to kind of like merge together. Um, or you can just make it like six, six pack or four pack, whatever, however you classify it. Well, it just depends on like what reference you have. That's still six pack here. Um, I think I made it too round. It'll be there. And then this muscle also tucks down. Again, all of these muscles are just like going down there. I also want to, depending on like how much of a like a superhero look you want to give him, you can also fill up the chest quite a bit. Give him that like uh, Arnold look. So here, the shoulder just kind of attaches to the collarbone. So there. Okay. And then this kind of has like a dip because it's between the shoulder and where the chest attaches. And this collarbone be very pronounced there. And then the rest of it, also depending on how muscular he is, would just attach directly to the collarbone. Then so the collarbone almost like disappears from the bottom. Uh, you can still have it from the top, also depends on how muscular his neck is. Uh, but yeah, there. Okay, let's work on the back now because he doesn't have uh, any back right now. Cool. So here, yeah, let me pull up my references. Cool. So let's start adding some muscle. So the lats, this big muscle that we have over here, actually this is not how it's shaped, so it kind of goes down like that and then pulls into the back. And then the shape of the back, it also goes into that, so it kind of like attaches there. And then you have a little muscle, not little, but it goes down like that, so kind of like this attaches to the lats, like there, uh, and then attaches that to the smart and then like lower down, okay? And then above here, we have the traps. So let's actually carve in here. And then, cause like underneath there's like the big muscle running down like the entire thing. So you're always gonna have like a big of a, bit of a bubble almost like around the, um, the middle. So even this muscle over here gets affected by it underneath. So you kind of have a big bump running down there the whole way. So there, and then the lats. So if we take the lats over here, so it kind of goes to like there. So it kind of, it attaches to this collarbone. So the collarbone goes there, the shoulder attached to it, then goes back, 
with the scapula. Uh, so which is here, so it kind of goes there, there. And then it's also covered by quite a lot of muscles to get it to all work properly. Um, but it's roughly just a big square piece, or well, square, but shaped over here. And then the, the traps go above that, and this is to pull the like pull the shoulders up like this. And then that kind of ends over here. So it kind of ends just below, slightly below the scapula there. So depending on how big it is, or big you the guys, and how flexed he is as well, or like how much weight he's carrying, this will be quite developed. And then if he's pulling back, like if he's pulling his shoulder blades back, then this muscle is contracts. So that's why you have it over here. And then with this shoulder, so as I said before, it so it has like three three parts to it, or three different heads as it's called. Um, so back front uh, and side. So there, actually that would be further up, but then depending on how big you want to make it, this muscle kind of just goes up, as I said, and attaches to the like, shoulder blade and another well, shoulder blade. Well, the, the, the shoulder blade and the like collarbone that goes all the way around, the big bone. And then you have a muscle over here, that's also pretty big, which kind of like connects it over here. So you have this. There'll always be a bump at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Um, and then the, what's it, the back head of the shoulder kind of comes quite far in like that. So it has like a, an angle like that. And then it attaches up there to this line. And then you kind of just have another muscle that kind of goes around there. And then with the traps again, this would kind of like be a bigger bump there and they kind of just smooth up. And then also the neck while we're here would be going like there. Make it more thick. There. This part get pulled forward. This also kind of comes down to the shoulder blade, or the, not the shoulder blade, but the, the, this, bus, this bone here, collarbone. It's a lot of names to remember, gets confusing, but doesn't really matter too much. Okay, and then also, depending on how ripped he is, you can kind of see a like separation up here. So it kind of, because it goes like there, and then has the muscle go there kind of goes that way and then that way um, okay and then this muscle over here so it kind of comes down there and then that yeah, cool this affects how thick the neck is so it also changes how like masculine the character looks um, so if you want to change that as well if you want to make your character look like a superhero -y or whatever Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. Um, and then finish off, so add in some glutes. So the glutes kind of go, it kind of has a shape that goes like that. So it kind of just sits there and goes like there. Cool. There, so there, and then it just goes there and it'll kind of have like a bit of a dip in the side when you have the legs there. Um, that's just because you have like the muscle, the muscle when he goes around like that. So it kind of just naturally creates a dip in the, like when your leg's there. Okay. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. And yeah. You might want to f like, f like feel your rib cage, kind of see, see how the shape works. Um, and kind of shape it kind of because it kind of I think in my opinion it goes like there um, so like you can kind of work with that shape as well because um, yeah, there and because it all affects like how the muscles and stuff works um, so you need to kind of have that shape and to get it to all work properly uh, but yeah cool
I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want to watch another one click over here to learn how to fix your face anatomy mistakes cheers